Hello, my name is Dave and this is uh, Stone Nape Adventures. Today I'm on the North Country Trail and I've um, been hiking a couple miles, camp up. And uh, today I want to show you my uh, five favorite pieces of gear of the year. And uh, this is always an exciting time to look back, reflect about things you might have changed, the things that you um, bought and worked out well for you. So yeah, I'm going to show you uh, my favorite pieces of gear for this year. And um, but first, uh, you got to find a mossy rock, and, um, and then after the mossy rock, we'll head to the campsite, and uh, I'll set up and show you everything. Oh, just got to camp. Um, as you see, I was wearing orange the whole time. It's the first day of buck here in uh, Pennsylvania. So, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of guys running around with guns. So, uh, you know, you got to pay mind to that kind of stuff. So I'm going to um, hang out for one moment. Burn a number and um, set up camp. And then I'm going to show you my... Uh, my favorite pieces of gear for the year, yeah. So the first piece of gear I want to show you is uh. My um, shelter. This is um, you've seen it, but it's the uh, it's one of my favorite pieces this year. My favorite purchase of the year, probably. It's um, the split fin, um, sling fin uh, split wing, and um, it's like a tarp shelter, and uh, it weighs 22 ounces, so it's super light. Um, and then I don't use trekking poles, so I got carbon fiber poles, and I'll show you those in a minute. Um, but they're uh. The two carbon fiber poles, the one for the back and the one for the front, another six ounces, so uh, 28 ounces in total for the shelter. And that's good for me, and I, I can pitch this in real small spots. And um, it's, uh, I tend to find myself in mostly small spots, so 
That's why I, uh, I gravitated towards this. Um, I've had it, I was a little worried about thunderstorms, um, but I've had it in about three really good thunderstorms and um, I stayed completely dry with a couple of exceptions. Um, opening up this front while it's pouring down rain, I got a lot of backsplash, so I'll have to pay mind to make sure that I move everything away from the front when it's raining real hard. I'm still learning how to how to pitch it, um, but it's pretty versatile. I can do a whole lot of stuff with it. That's why I got it. Um, and then uh, the second piece of gear I'm going to show you is my um, feathered friend's uh, sleeping bag. This is the um, it's their 950 power fill, right? and um, it weighs, I think it weighs like 18 or 18 ounces, something. I don't know. It's pretty light for a 20 degree bag. Um, and it's, I mean, you can, you can see it, but it's, uh, it's got a lot of loft to it. It keeps me real warm. Um, I'm thinking it'll keep me warm to about 12 degrees instead of the 20. Um, it's about the coldest I've had it down to and it, it kept me warm. So, uh, but yeah, the, the, the quality, the stitching, I mean, everything about it. And again, it's that 950 uh, powered down fill, so it's real super fluffy. It, it's, it still hasn't completely fluffed up, but if you, I'll show you the foot box. If you look at the foot box, I mean, that thing's, that thing's giant. And like I said, it's not even fully, uh, I just unpacked it. So it, it, it's definitely a piece of gear that costs a couple couple bucks, but um, it's well worth it. And uh, I've really, really um, enjoyed it. It's just kept me super warm, and um, it's it's pretty pretty light for what it is. It's uh, I think it's their their lightest um, full sleeping bag, and it's um, it's a wide too. So. I can, I have no problems, like I'm a side sleeper and I can turn every which way in it and I'm completely fine. Sometimes when I have the sleeping bag liner, I get a little caught up in it, but, um, but yeah, it's kept me super warm. But, um, so I'm going to show you these carbon fiber poles real fast. So, uh, here's, here's the carbon fiber poles. One, they, they are adjustable. Um, I'll put a, I'll put a link to the, to this. And then it comes up and then it, you know, comes up in there. And uh, they, this company does all types of custom sizes. You just reach out to them, tell you what, tell, tell you what you need. And so here's the other carbon fiber pole. And uh, so you can adjust these by just turning this and then lifting it. Now I have it set up, so I can't really do that, but... Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a video because I got the Durston Z sticks as well, and uh, so I want to compare these to the Durston um, Z sticks. They're 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 a different product, but they're somewhat comparable. So this is uh, my third favorite piece of gear of the year. It's been the umbrella. And um, for all intents purposes, I don't carry rain gear no more. Have it for a few years. I've just been using this. And um, it works really well. I mean, it, it keeps me drier than any rain gear is gonna keep me. Um, and it's way cheaper, way lighter. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a no brainer. So, you know, if you're in the Appalachia, um, Appalachian mountain range, uh, this is probably great for you. Um, elsewhere, maybe not, but for, uh, for the style of hiking and what I do, this is perfect. Um, biggest thing for me is keeping my hair dry, and this does a perfect job at that. Um, I, can't, I can't let all that get wet. It weighs about 15 pounds, and um, that, that, it's just no good in any type of situation for that to happen to me so um yeah i really enjoyed it um i will give you one quick tip 
on these. Now I, I put mine in the stern strap and um, it just stays there. I have no problems with that. Um, so that's how I carry it. And um, how you gotta remember to, uh, when you get home, to open it up. Um, it's one, this is one piece of gear that I've been really bad with and not um, drying out completely. I get home, I empty my bag, I hang my tent, I, I get the sleeping bag and I lay it out and um, you know, get all the garbage, just clean out the whole bag. And this is one thing that I always forget to, to open up and let dry out properly. So it's, it's, it's getting beat up from it and um, you can kind of tell. But yeah, so this has been my third favorite piece of gear of the year. So, uh, <laughs> my fourth favorite piece of gear of the year is um, my new backpack. And I just got it today in the mail. So, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but, but it's definitely uh, put itself up there pretty quickly. Um, I'll just go over it super fast. I'll eventually do videos on my backpacks, but not for a while, I don't think. So, um, so pretty much, this is uh, um, my Mikkel, my Dan Mikkel backpack. Uh, so, this side, uh, the, the red part is uh, 200 Ultra. The, the black and green are both uh, 400 Ultra, and the yellow. Um, is 800 ultra and um and after seeing all, all these ultras together um i would if, if i were to you know spend some money on a backpack i would i would probably opt for the 400 ultra comparatively to the 200 um i think you'll get a lot more wear and tear for sure between the two um but you know, time will tell on that. Um, but this is the only part that's 200 ultra. And then, um, so I, every, every McKell's built, everyone's completely different. It's, um, it's really built to the, to the user's needs and what they want. Um, every, everything's customizable and, um, you know, it's give your exact body measurements. Um, how much weight you're carrying, how big you want it. This is his smallest one. Um, I'm sure it'll make him smaller if you, have, if you want it, you know, because like I said, he'll, he'll pretty much, um, you know, but he won't give you junk though. So, you know, the, there, there's certain philosophies he has and, um, you know, I don't think he'll veer from his philosophies. Um, so this is pretty much the um, 33, he calls it the bump. And, um, and then I have the same size as I really like these big pockets. Um, so I got, again, this is all for 400. Um, I got the, uh, same exact size pockets as my, my larger bag. And, um, it's like this pocket, I generally put all my food in for the day. Um, and my cook kit and that's where all that goes. You know, that's all my, that's lunch, um, not the dinner, but the breakfast, lunch, and, uh, and snacks. Then on this side, this is a small, smaller one. Um, again, this one here, you know, it, it, it pulls away so you can pull it in front of you if you want. This one's, um, it stays in the same place. Um, and this is where I keep my water filter. And, uh, my buff and uh, a knife and um, just a couple knickknacks and then uh, then these are the water bottle holders um, this one here it's tilted so it's real easy to get in and out um, this one here is uh, a little smaller um, I don't this one here I can hold two smart water bottles this one I can hold like um, like one like you can put I can put an allergen, an allergen in here or one smart water bottle it won't hold two but I wanted this one a little smaller and uh, so yeah so that is my uh, fourth favorite piece of gear of the year and it's also my newest piece of gear um, along with those those carbon fiber sticks I got um, last week 
So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, um, I'm losing light and uh, it's getting a little chillier. So I'm gonna get a fire going and then uh, I'll show you the last piece of gear. Um, it'll probably be dark, but uh, that's okay. And uh, I'll have a nice little fire and it's, it's getting dark early. It's like five o'clock. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. So I got the fire going. It's a really nice night. Um, it's a little nip, a little nipply, but it's not too bad. Figured I uh, show you that uh, fifth favorite item of the year. And um, so it's my uh, titanium flask, and uh, it um you don't get no off tastes from it, which is what's is super awesome. Because everything else I've tried outside of carrying the whole glass bottle in is uh, kind of you get a funny taste out of it. Um, with the titanium, it, it doesn't uh, affect the taste. I'm drinking um, Smith and Cross rum tonight. It's uh, an old old recipe that was brought back a few years ago. Jamaican Jamaican rum tastes like uh, rotten plantains, but I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you stick around till the morning, I got a couple bonus items. Um, I'll have links for all this stuff in the description uh, I don't like I don't get there's no um, no one sent me anything or nothing like that uh, the Amazon links do um, help out the channel but outside of that um, I don't know if there will even be any Amazon links but um, but I will leave links to all the gear I talked about today um, mainly to the uh, company stores but again I thank you very much and um, again stick around in the morning I've got a couple little bonus items um, it is supposed to uh, start pouring down rain about seven o'clock so I'm gonna um, probably get up kind of early like 530 try to beat the rain back to the car I have about like uh, it's not far it's about an hour and a half walk so it's um, I'm pretty close. I, I can still I can hear like a camp in the background here and there. Some music playing. But other than that, it's been a great trip. And, um, again, if you have any questions about any of the um, the gear that I talked about today, um, just leave some comments and I'll get I'll get to them. Um, and if you have any uh, your questions about like. Um, about how how go about getting a full custom bag. There's a, there's a few makers out there, um, but I, I think one of these days I'll do a video on that. But you have to you have to really know what you want um, from these guys because uh, you know they're not mind readers and uh, you, you have to <laughs> like I said you, you gotta you have to have, pretty much be dialed in and know exactly what you want with your system. Um, but uh, yep, we'll see you in the morning. Well, I had a. <laughs> I got up pretty early and skipped out of camp to try to beat the rain. Um, I didn't really beat it, but um. So yeah, so this is um, this is the AeroPress I'm using. This is uh the runner-up for the best gear of the year. I uh. I can't. I I have to have a good cup of coffee in the morning. And uh. Yeah, so this is, um, I'm not sure what it weighs. I don't carry that much stuff. I don't, you know, um, I'd rather carry this than a chair all day long. 
I mean, this probably doesn't weigh as much as the cure does. But it's pretty cold. The roads, the roads froze, so um, it must have gotten pretty cold last night. And time for some wakey bakey. Like I said, I had to, I got out of camp. It was pretty late. I mean, pretty pretty early. It was it was still dark when I uh, just about got it. It's just a crack of light when I got out of camp. And then um, I'm going to show you the other piece of gear that uh, and that's my uh, it's my um, <coughs> headlamp. It's a BioLite 330. Uh, I believe this is pretty deep. It's a, it's a couple years old. Um, I'm probably gonna get a, a new one. They discontinued this one. Um, but I do a ton of night hiking, and I usually don't get into the campsite till night, and then I'm up to all hours late. And so uh, this one has a ton of different settings. I like it. It's real easy, and. Um, the best thing about this is I can I can use it while I'm charging it um, but like I said I, I want to replace it because it's just simply because it's a U, UBC or I want to get the new charging one with a new charging port so it's one less wire I have to carry but um but yeah it's you know it's got a ton of different options and the dims and brightens and whatnots so maybe the new night core i don't know but um thanks for coming along uh give us a subscribe if you like this kind of content uh i should be doing a tr another trip video hopefully soon um this was a sort of a trip video but but yeah thanks very much and um like subscribe and uh tell a friend write a letter <laughs> whatever you want but uh, we'll catch you guys on the flip side.